It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charles. This is Hero Wars Central, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I like to do content based around the Hero Wars game, both Facebook and mobile, and the reason why I differentiate the two is because they are two separate games at times, and in the month of December, it is no different. On Facebook, we have one Hero of the Month, and on mobile, we have another, and on mobile, which is what we're going to talk about today, is Anvari. Anvari is the Hero of the Month. So as I open up my uh, my dashboard here, my, my game, I just want to state that this is the Facebook version of the game that I'm recording this video on because I don't have all of the heroes unlocked on my mobile account yet. So you mobile players, uh, pay no attention to Oliver here, my pet. Um, hopefully you guys will get adventures sooner or later. I don't know. But um, uh, this is going to be a video talking about Anvari. And first and foremost, Anvari is... Um, the worst hero in the game. No, I'm kidding. I'm hashtag team, uh, hashtag team Bob um, all the way. For those of you that know me, I prefer Kark over Bob of the two, but um, we're not going to get too uh, deep into that. I have an old video come kind of yelling at each other about, you know, which one's better. But what I want to do, uh, what I want to mention first before I start into the team compositions and what teams go well with Anvari is that Anvari is a support hero. He's classified um, as, uh, I believe, a support warrior. I'm not sure exactly what he is, um, but he is uh, what I would call a support um, hero. Let's just let's just open him up real quick, just just so that people don't yell at me in the comments. Okay, so he's a support control hero. That's that's what he is uh, in the game. And the reason why I state that is because he fits into a lot of team compositions. And I, whenever I jumped onto the Discord and was like, hey guys, give me some awesome team compositions for Anvari, I got all kinds of stuff thrown at me, just all kinds of stuff. And, you know, he fits very well into a lot of different team compositions, a lot. And um, some of the ones that, uh, that I've heard of commonly is um, something like this. Not like that. Let's see. Uh, like this, you throw an Anvari in uh, on your Kark team, and all of a sudden you're anti Kark. Um, you know that's one way to do it. I'm not sure if that's the best way to do it, but uh, you know it's it's kind of you know it is what it is. Um, like Jorgen and Ju um, and uh, Galahad. Um, I think those are the those are the the ones that come to mind. He's a tough. He's a tough hero. You know, he's very tanky. He can he can take a couple of hits, like uh, like Krista. Krista is another tanky hero. So you could use him on teams whose uh, tank disappears. So let's say you wanted to use him with uh, Ziri. So Ziri has the ability. You know, she she burrows underground to kind of heal up a little bit. And your Envari being a tough tanky kind of hero, he can take a couple of hits. And I'd probably do. Let's see, Satori. And I really like Martha and Celeste for this team. Where's my Celeste? So this is a nice little lineup. It's built around keeping your Satori alive long enough to do uh, to do damage. And um, it's a good time to mention that the Anvari is different from Facebook and on mobile. Since this is the, this is the mobile uh, hero of the month, I'm going to talk about the mobile version. And that means that Anvari protects everyone behind him from movement-based effects. So everyone behind him doesn't get hit by Kark or the Twins Tornado or Luther's Hook. Um yeah, so that's that's good to know. So this is this is a good lineup to keep Satori alive. I like this lineup a lot. Um, another interesting lineup that I saw was with Aurora. You use Aurora and Vari, um, Astrid and Lucas, which I think is interesting. Uh, faceless. Let's see where's my faceless at. And then um, oh Celeste. So the idea behind this team is it's a very anti-magic team. So, you know, Anvari protects everyone behind him from uh, the Twins Tornado. You've got um, uh, you've got uh, Faceless's passive magic defense. Uh, you got Aurora, which is an amazing tank against uh, against the Twins and other magic users. So this is a pretty good anti-magic team. So I think it's good around good all around um, anti-physical damage team as well. Uh, with a little bit of a dodge from Aurora, uh, some defense, some heal over time. Blocks Vampirism with Celeste. This is a pretty cool team. I like that team a lot. Um, let's talk about another uh, Astaroth team. Where did my Anvari go? Another Astaroth team. Astaroth, Anvari, uh, 
Harris. This is another Satori based team. And you, you know, you, there's a pretty common theme here. You, you pick a tank, you pick a damage dealer to go with them. Um, that kind of complements his, uh, his abilities there. Um, this one actually went with dark star and nebula. And I thought this was very interesting. I'm not really sure what to do with this one. I guess nebula is your main healer. Um, somebody threw this out there and I thought it was very interesting. Uh, you know, use dark stars ability to turn an opponent, uh, keep your, keep your front line alive as long as possible. Keep Satori alive as long as possible. So we can blow up the enemy team. So that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And then there was a couple Galahad teams that were thrown out there. A couple Galahad, Andy again with Satori and you could probably use Kark or, you know, Ginger, Kira, you know, one of those other here, uh, hitters in, in place of Satori and, um, but the reason why Satori is good on this one is because it's taking advantage of the Orion Helios uh, team up. Where's my, there's my Orion. Where's my Helios? I don't think I've leveled yet. There we go. So you got Orion and Helios is mix in the back. You got Satori for a little bit of uh, extra um for the magic, uh, magic penetration. And the idea behind this one is um, your Anvari is going to keep everyone behind him alive a little bit longer. Your Satori is going to have free, I'm sorry, your Orion is going to have free reign to blow things up, keeping the magic attack high all the time. When Satori finally does pop off his ult, it's, you know, it'll be, it'll be pretty awesome. Um, <laughs> for that. And then, uh, you know, another, another idea, a little bit more defensive would be using, uh, Jorgen instead of Satori. So this is kind of an, a, a heavy duty energy management build. Um, you know, Satori being taken out for a Jorgen, a little bit more control, a little bit more support. And, um, this, this back line just blows people up. It does a lot of damage really quick. Um, as I discussed in my Helios video earlier on. Some people are toying around with this lineup. Can't have a can't have a uh, a team build video without showing off the twins. And I think they like um, Jorgen and Martha. I'm not sure about this lineup. The idea is that you know Anvari protects everyone behind them from movement based effects. Uh, you really need your Anvari to be strong in order to be, have a main tank. I, I don't think he's that good. I, I don't think he's as good of a main tank as uh, Krista and Jorgen are, um, you know, as a, as a support, you know, a tanky support hero. But I thought that one was pretty cool. This one's a pretty good idea. And then a couple of Cleaver teams. We got Cleaver and Vari. I kind of like this one too. This is one that I missed uh, last week, last month, whenever I was doing this, um, my Peppy video. Uh, Peppy, Cleaver, with uh, Anvari, Jorgen, and then Martha. I think this is a kind of a cool lineup, actually. You know, and this, you know, again, kind of goes to show that you can you can slide Anvari into just about anywhere. But um, a lot, I got a lot of flack for that Peppy team video because I kept like all of the heroes that I paired him with were a Cleaver based team, and not everyone has Cleaver, and I get that. But in my opinion, Peppy isn't as good as other heroes, and I think that she only shines with Cleaver. This, I mean, this is a, this is a tangent, but. Um, again, I don't have a high level Peppy, obviously, and um, I think this would be a good idea. I think this would be a cool setup. So another Cleaver team that I've got was Orion, Astrid, and Faceless. And there we go. So I think this one was, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of designed to be an anti-Kark um, team, but it also would work really well with, uh, I don't know, we swap out. I'm not sure. <laughs> Another interesting team that somebody threw at me, and I'm not sure about this. I think this one would really only work on Facebook. Um, and I know I said that this was going to be a mobile focused video, but it, on Facebook, Anvari will always protect the, the person directly in front of them instead of everyone behind him. To protect himself and the person in front of him, so adds a little uh, a little damage shield for Ishmael as a, as a main tank. And then while we're at it, let's just throw on the most expensive heroes that we can find. Uh, Jet, where's my Jet? Here he is. Uh, Satori is not too bad, but um, and then and then Faceless. And like I said, this is this is probably going to be better on Facebook than on mobile, just because of the the difference between Envari's abilities. So this is a cool team if you like, you know, if you like Ishmael, if you're looking for a team to put Ishmael on, this could this one could work. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be the best option, but 
So the team that I'm going to build is one that I saw on uh, Tim's teaser video for his uh, revision to his spreadsheet. And I, I mentioned Tim a few times, but he's the guy that runs the Server 2 Facebook page. And he, he kind of teased this uh, this team, this Envari team, um, on that uh, on that on that reveal video. So what it was, it was, of course, Envari. He used Luther, right? It's a Satori team, uh, big, uh, big time damage there. And then he used uh, Celeste and Dorian. And this lineup is interesting. I'm going to go with Martha instead. I think that Martha is going to be slightly better in this lineup because of the how how well these two work together. I guess Dorian could work just fine as well, but the reason why I'm going to do this is uh, is for two reasons. Um, one, I have a very strong Kark team on Facebook, and I don't want to do it again on mobile. And as much as I hate to say it, um, you know, Anvari is a pretty strong, uh, pretty strong support hero. And the idea behind this team is you have Luther, who I also wanted to build a team of. Um, you have Luther that jumps, you know, he jumps away from your team into the opposing team. And that leaves up the second hero to kind of tank. And of course, you know, Anvari is a little tanky. So while Luther's, uh, you know, next door, <laughs> if you will, fighting the enemy, uh, Anvari is still kind of tanking there. And all the while, you know, you've got Satori doing uh, doing his uh, his damage and Celeste and the Martha keeping them all up. And, um, you know, I don't have a solid Satori team on on Facebook yet, but, you know, obviously I'm working towards it uh, for an alternate but I really like this lineup for for uh, for a team, and I think this works better on mobile. This team works better on mobile than it would on Facebook, but it probably does work on Facebook, you know, just fine, just fine. So for all of you lovers of Anvari, hashtag Team Andy, what have you? This has been this has been a good little bit of time for you guys. The Black Friday package, being able to buy his Soul Stones from that. And then um, now that he's the year of the month, you can gain 30, I think 48 soul stones with, you know, at VIP zero. But if you're VIP 10 or higher, you get a lot more of his soul stones. Um, so this is a good month to level up Envari. I think it's a good opportunity for me to, you know, capture a bunch of his soul stones on, on mobile. I only have them at two stars. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about my teams. I threw a lot of teams out there, about 10, 15 teams. Um, there was a lot more that were thrown at me. Um, a bunch of different magic based teams, a bunch of different physical based teams. But I think um, as far as, you know, touching on the main ones, plus some of the, uh, you know, side ones, I think I think I did a, a pretty good job at getting a nice, uh, a nice variety. But with that being said, if you thought this video was helpful, please leave a comment down below or a like. Uh, consider subscribing, but your viewership is more than enough for me. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll catch you guys next time. New new type of video coming up this weekend. New type. I'm kind of excited about trying this format out, uh, seeing how it does. But you know, we'll we'll see how that works on uh, on Saturday. Um, so I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.